How does it feel after the past couple of weeks being a guest player to get that contract? Uh, I mean, it feels good to go in anywhere, um, show with your worth, and get rewarded at the end of the, a trial. What have you liked about the Sounders being in the league for a few years? Um, it's a great fan base. Um, throughout the league, it's been known as a great organization. And the players, um, they're a welcoming group. Um, make me feel right at home from the start. What was the experience like and what were some of the challenges that you faced knowing that you weren't officially on the roster yet the last couple weeks? Um, I don't know. I didn't really look at it like that. I just looked at it as I'm going to go show my talent um, and hopefully get rewarded at the end of it. I never really thought about the negative side of it, maybe like not even getting signed. What do you feel that you can bring to the squad this year? Um, versatility and hard work um, for the most part. And then I have a I have a unique uh, skill set that I'd like to bring to the game, getting up and down the flanks. Um, maybe play a little bit even at center back. What's it like sharing a back line with a guy like Chad Marshall and some of those experienced guys? Um, it's, it's great. It's great. Um, I know Chad's won different of the year. Um, at my time in Kansas City, I saw like Opar win. I know Matt Beasley was. So it's, it's great to get help and guidance from guys that have reached the top level. What are, what are some of the differences that you've noticed from your time in other clubs and uh, practices here? Um, each each uh, each staff looks at recovery and trainings a little bit differently. So some some clubs might give two days off in a row. Some clubs might give a day and then back. So it's just kind of getting to the swing of what each club likes to do. What the ebb and flow of Tucson? You get some time and then you trained a lot. What what was that like mentally? knowing you were playing for a contract or practicing for a contract? Um, yeah, once again, I mean, I kind of I kind of just blocked that out. Um, I mean, I guess the only time I really went through that was when – actually, no, I've never, I never went through that. So I just – that's never really crossed my mind. I just – I'm always a positive guy. And I always like to think positive. So I never – that type of stuff doesn't really cross my mind. I just came in, gave my all, and got rewarded at the end of it. What yeah. was your experience like last year? It was a little different couple – coaches and things like that but NYC what was that like for you Mr. Positive? Uh, uh, no I mean just to um, get coached by Patrick Baird that's one of the guys I grew up watching and so to uh, learn from him um, got a few games underneath him and sometimes it's just not a good fit and coaching changes and all like that so things like that happen but I don't regret my time in New York I enjoyed it um, everyone I met there the experiences um, from the different guys in that locker room, um, I take with it to this locker room. And so each time you go from team to team or practice to year to year, you grow and you learn things, what to do and what not to do. You, you mentioned you have a unique skill set. Do you think you've maximized on that uh, throughout your career or is there stuff that you, you can improve on? No, there's, there's definitely things I can improve on. Um, for the most part, on the field is, is very important, but mentally is one of the things that I need to work on and continue to work on. And I think that's what's going to help me get to the next level that I know I can reach. And I know some of the coaches that have coached me and guys that have played with me believe in me that I can reach. Mentally in what way? In preparing for your opponent and in staying um, focused? Yeah, I mean, it, it goes from everything to, to sleep, how you prepare for practice, how you prepare for the games. How are you going to measure success? How's your transition from Kansas City to here? I mean, obviously I gotta get on the I gotta get on the field more. Um, I gotta get back to hopefully playing consistently. And then once you start playing consistently, a lot of things start to click more, and then you start to play a lot better. And ultimately, when a player plays, a lot of things just happen. Um, you just get back into the flow of it. A lot of things like when you're not sharp, like maybe a bad touch here, you're, you're sharper and you're you're clean on the ball, and you're just more confident. And a consistent playoff contender in Seattle, what does that mean for you to know that you earned a spot on this squad, at least for now? Um, for me, I mean, that, that's that's huge. I've, I've been fortunate so far in my career, um, MLS, to make the playoffs every year. So that's always good to be a part of an organization that makes the playoffs. And uh, I mean, I want to go far in the playoffs. I mean, I've, I've been to the playoffs, but I want to make a, a deep run in the playoffs. Is there a unique trait about your game that you think uh, make, makes you stand out on the field? Um, I, I, I guess that's a good question. I, I really don't know. Um, I mean, I'm, I'm tall. I mean, I, I get that. I get that a lot. But um, I don't know. I like to influence the game in like different ways. So I mean, I like to use my pace. Um, 
like to outthink my opponent. So it's it's a bunch of different things that maybe I've learned to to do over the years. What are some of the things that maybe Coach Metz or the rest of his coaching staff have told you uh, to do uh, scheme-wise or strategy-wise? Um, no, so far um, the coaching staff has just told me to do what I do best, and that's probably the best advice right now. Um, just to keep getting integrated into the squad, but also don't lose yourself while you're playing. You do the things that you do well, um, and that'll help the team out. And then over time, you'll blend, and everyone will kind of help each other out um, to maximize each other's skill set and get the wins and everything. Thanks.